Hello everyone and welcome back to In the Greenhouse with Orchid Supply Store. My name is Ken and welcome back. If you've never been here, glad you're joining us. Uh, be sure to subscribe so that you'll get all of the, the uh, videos that I put out. But today we have a, uh, an unboxing. I just received the shipment. Haven't looked at anything yet. All I know is I've got five boxes. So we're going to open them, take a look, and see what we have. So sit back, pop some popcorn, and enjoy the unboxing. So we're going to take a look at the greenhouse, you know, the way it sits right now. And we're just going to walk down the, show you the upper shelf. And as you may can see, all of the orchids now have a number on them. And I've been working on this over the past week week and a half or so trying to, to get everything numbered because it has been just a terrible time trying to get all of these things you know, in here and and when I go uh, when I sell them they're very difficult yeah to find yeah because no matter how much I try, if it, it just doesn't stay organized. And then when I go to find it, I have to look at literally every single orchid to find the little name tag. And as you see here, I have quite a few empty shells. And this is going to change real soon. So I'll swing it back around on this side. Get the upper side first, and I have not completely numbered all of these, but this is only going to take me another hour or so yet to finish that. And then more empties, yeah, because I have been selling quite a few. Down on the bottom, same thing, a lot of empties, and a few of these are still waiting to sell so they can be yours at any time. I want to swing around here to the mounted and and this is the orchid that put out this monster of spike and had blooms on it oh gee I don't know how long for months well she's doing it again I got this spike coming way up here going all the way to the ceiling and it's not going to be long. She's going to have more of the same. Okay. Walk around the back this time and show you a couple of things. I have one yeah, that's just about finished blooming here. This thing has been beautiful. Yeah, but it's, it's just about gone. Okay. Not much on the top shelf, which is my Philanopsis. Uh, I don't do that much with the Philanopsis, you know, so I, I have a terrible uh, habit of just ignoring them and, and then when they get so bad I'll send some to Trish and she brings them back to life. So I've got the staghorn fern hanging here and then over on the back side here I have the Vandas and I got one and big spike there so it's not going to be long I uh, got a few there. Got another one right here. Got a, a, it also huge spike. So just waiting for it to come about. And as I look here, got another one right here that if you can see it, the spike. I can't really get it, but it's in the back. Uh, next door, another one. And a nice spike. Got one. And bloom. This doesn't happen often. 
uh, because they generally sell before they get a chance to bloom but I do have that one and continuing with the Vandas you can see they're in pretty good condition I've oh, got one more here in spike so that's what uh, three four five in spike one in bloom uh, and those are the ones that I ship first you know when someone orders one yeah, if I have it either in spike or in bloom, that's the ones that I ship. I haven't showed these since I got them. These are the host of uh, the Hoya, and yeah, you know, they're doing okay. I've put them kind of over to the side, and so that they'll be out of the way and can do their thing, and they're coming along nicely. Yeah, every one of them uh, to me. Yeah, it looks like it has grown, and I've got four or five there that's put off, you know, about eight or ten inches of, of uh, vine. Got a few more down here. Uh, that one's putting something off there in the center. I, I guess that's good. Uh, a few leftover cactus that I have, those, gee, those cactus now probably eight, nine, maybe ten years old. And they just sit out, sit here and hang out. And I don't know if I can find them. Let me look right quick. I got a little visitor that stays here almost all of the time. And, of course, the day that I'm looking for him, I can't find him. He scares me every once in a while. I'll be looking for something. And I'll, I'll move a plant. And there's this, uh, it's an intermediate size, a green frog. And he's sitting there looking at me, and, and I jump, and it just scares the be, be out of the out of whatever out of me. So don't see him right now. Uh, as I told you sometime in the past, I do have some uh, hosta, and that's what these are down here. Uh, most of them, yeah, they're ready to, to ship if anybody wanted one. Uh, more in the back all the way to the end and here in front I have the the uh, La Rope. I call it La Rope. some people call it La Rope. I'm not sure what the correct pronunciation is but it's you know what it is it's, it has the pretty little purple flowers on it and most people use it as as a border plant so that's what I've got going in the greenhouse at this moment. Okay, let's see what we have. Box number one. Someone suggests that I get a knife, and I've always had one is just the last time I didn't have it with me and I struggled to open the boxes with a pair of scissors but this time I got it okay so box number one we have okay looks like this is what is called the um, Oh gee, what do they call this? Is it on the box? Import orchids. Okay, imported orchids. Imported all the way from Florida. We have dendrobiums. We have EPL. I forget what that stands for. We have more of the same. And the same. I'm, I'm going to have to go deep to get something different, I think. Dendrobium. Yeah, see what's on the bottom level here, if it's anything different. Okay, we have a Bulliard Redland. Sunset. I think I've had that one before. I'm not sure. Uh, another one. 
and a oh, let's see if I can make it out. A yellow bird. Okay, so it's a total of twenty-four in this box, and you saw earlier where my shelves are getting very very empty and this is why I needed them okay box number one down box number two this is 24 cat layers See if we got anything new and exciting here. They all look very good, very healthy. Okay, this one is a. Yeah, it is. An RLC Kita Carano. And over here we have an RLC a, Oh, same thing. <laughs> uh dear, no tag on that one. I hate it when that happens. And we have a hot Dick Smith crossed with a. God, my eyes are getting red. Chilas Award. Never had that one. So that's a new. And <coughs> Sam Dick Smith. And here we have the same. Is that the same Dick Smith? Yeah. Same Dick Smith. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, I hate it when they send me the same one over and over. A David Matsura. Hmm. That's a new one. Never had that one. So anyway, we have 24... Cat Leia's in this box. Box number three. Man does. Twenty four. Vandas in this box and we start out with a Era, Era Dovencia pot sand. I would love to know who names these things. <coughs> and A Pachura Delight Pachar Pachara had those before. Same one. Same one there. Twenty four Vandas, and they all look very nice. Box number four, Vandas. Twenty four Vandas in this box. Oh, these look a little bit bigger. That's good. Okay, we have uh, 
Well, that's another one of those pot Santa. And another one, and another one. So this is the only problem when you order from a big grower. You can't specify the exact orchid you have. You just have to take what they have available to ship. And sometimes I get lucky and get a lot of different ones. Sometimes I get the same thing over and over and over. And I just have to live with it. Nice roots. Okay, this is a uh, Van de Karen Lay. Karen Lay something or another. Polanza. Okay, so 24 Vandas in this box. And box number one, two, three, box number five is. It's a mixture. It has 12 of the import and 12 catleas, so 24 in this box also. So that's a total of five boxes with 24 in each. So how many is that? 120? 120. So 120 new orchids. And so many of these we have seen before, but these are nice. That one looks like that one has already bloomed because we have nothing on that spike. So these are blooming size. So 24, uh, 12 and 12. 12 import, 12 cat layers. So that's what we got today. Total of 120 new orchids. Um, those will go out just as soon as I can get them out. Uh, I've, I've worked on all of the numbering and, and you saw that earlier. So that helps things. So let's, uh, oh, giveaways. Forgot about that. The winner of the last giveaway, the birdhouse, uh, he lives in Israel. And the shipping was just entirely too much for either of us. Even if we split it, it was still too much. Uh, it was like 60 some odd dollars you know, for a $15 birdhouse. So neither of us wanted to spend that kind of money. So he said, give it to someone else. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give his winning birdhouse to the next person. Uh, in addition, I'm going to have a regular giveaway and I've had uh, several people ask for a mount. I gave, gave a mount away not long ago, uh, but there's more more people that they want to mount, so that's what we're going to do. That makes this giveaway just a little different. Uh, you're still going to have to subscribe. You're still going to have to leave a comment. But this time, your comment has got to be, I want a birdhouse, I want a mount. So you got to have two separate comments if you were to win the two separate uh, items. So that's what we're going for. And, and so that's what we'll look at. And I'm looking at the camera and I'm going to have to look at this before I post it because the only thing I see up there is my hands and that's not very exciting. Uh, hopefully it's getting a little bit more but if not, yeah, we'll we'll do this again. And that's uh, that's really it for, for this video. I uh, wanted to show you how the greenhouse looks when I get it 
kind of cleaned up and await in a shipment. Wanted to show you the latest shipment, which just got here about uh, about an hour ago. And I wanted to tell you about the giveaways. So that's it for today. We will do this again, so you come back.